Welcome to LeapFrog BI Academy course BD120 Data Flow Diagram. This is the third video in this course and we are going to be building a data flow diagram for our uh, location dimension. So let's get started. First of all, let's jump back to our, our data model that we're building out right now. Uh, very simply here, just like with promotion, we are going to now create our dimension location, which is going to relate, uh, of course, to our fact table directly. So let's go take a look at our source system and see how we're going to um, source this dimension. Well, after taking a look at some of these tables, it was um, pretty simple to figure out. We have our, our uh, primary fact table here, which is our sales order detail. This is what our fact grain is going to eventually be at. But the sales order detail doesn't get us directly to a sales territory, which is what we're going to use for our location dimension. It does, however, relate directly to sales order header, which then will get us to our territory information. So let's just create a quick little diagram here, and uh, we'll be able to see what this looks like. So I'm going to take my sales order detail and header. Now I'll just add those guys. Let's arrange these tables. Change the view real quick here. There we go. Okay, so now uh, from our sales order header, we're going to be able to go out to our sales uh, territory. Let me arrange that once again. Get this where we might be able to see the relationship. So here's our sales order header, and we can see that it does relate directly to a sales territory. Now there's also a, um, a uh, sales person, and there's, a, and there's also a, a sales territory history, but ne neither one of those are going to um, uh, be relevant in what we're trying to do right now, which is just to basically populate our sales territory dimension in a way that we can relate it to our fact that we'll talk about in upcoming videos. All right, so we have a plan on how we're going to source this. It's going to be very straightforward, pretty much the same as DIM promotion. So I'm going to move quickly here and build this. I've added a new sheet for DIM location. I'm going to drop in my uh, design pattern for dimensions. Let me zoom in here just a little bit so we can see what's going on. Maybe one more time. That'll work. Okay, so first thing I like to do is just to go ahead and name these different components. The first three, profile, stage, and uh, PSA, I'm going to name directly uh, exactly the same as my source system sales territory and then uh, on my others I'm going to name them individually first this this DS which is a dimension source I'm going to name after the dimension that it's going to be loading which we're calling location DA dimension aggregation which is going to make sure that our data is at the right grain to load the dimension and then of course our dimension itself Finally, we have a PSA to uh, component, which is going to update our PSA load status for our DIM location flag. And we'll call that once again, D allows location after the dimension that it's, it's supporting. Okay, so that's our names. Now, in this case, uh, very much like DIM promotion, we have a primary key on our source table. Let's just go jump over here and take a look at that. This is our source table. You can see the primary key is actually on territory ID, and that's exactly the same primary key that we want to have, or dimension key that we want to eventually have in our DIM location. We can also see that we have a modified date here, and after profiling this data a little bit, we, we could see that the modified data is being used um, as we would expect, and this is a very small table, so we're just going to load this data in um, just as we did with DIM promotion. We don't need DA, we don't need to aggregate here, so I'm going to set this guy to inactive so we won't actually build it out when we get to the development phase. 
Let's start here at profile. So the only thing we need to change here is to set our incremental load to uh, collect records that are new based on the modified date. And I'll go ahead and set the connection. Adventure works, which is what we'll call it. For stage, uh, there's nothing I need to do here. I'm just going to set the connection. And then for PSA, I'll go ahead and set my connection as well. And I'm going to set the record time on modified date. And we're going to collect a parameter on modified date. Again, the record time is uh, is the uh, date time that each record is considered effective by the business. Okay, for our DS, again, we're, we're collecting any records from our PSA that have not been processed. This is our dimension source, so we're good to go there. Again, we're, we don't need our DA because our source is at the same grain as our dimension. We know we're not going to get two versions of a, um, of a uh, record which has the same key at the same time. They'll have different modified dates. And the fall BI will make sure that those are handled um, appropriately. So I'm going to add a little note here that my dimension key is territory ID. All right. And we'll put that in our DW just for thoroughness here. I'll go ahead and do put in the connection that, that transform would have used. Finally, our uh, PSA, which here is going to update our update load status for our uh, DLS location. We are going to just put that in our PSA as well, and that's pretty much it. So let's just give us a once over. We have our profile here, which we're going to select records from our sales territory table incrementally based on the modified date, getting new records. We're going to stage that data, just uh, moving the data from the source to the target. Then we're going to consolidate in our PSA using modified data as the record time. We're also collecting a parameter on record time so that we know whenever we do our extraction that we are only collecting new records. Next, we're going to process unprocessed records. Anything that hadn't been processed yet will be processed each execution. We'll skip over the DA and go straight into our dimension uh, load. After the dimension load completes successfully, we'll update our PSA with all of our um, records being marked as processed. And that's it. So um, we'll see you in the next video where we'll talk about our date dimension.